so much information out there. To lose weight, you have to cut all carbs. To lose weight, you have to stop eating carbs before noon. To lose weight, you can eat carbs all you want as long as they're not refined. With all this confusion, it's easy to say F it and keep digging into the bread basket. If you love carbs and you want to incorporate carbs in your life and you still want to lose weight, this video is for you. I'm going to tell you exactly how you can still eat carbs and hit your weight loss goals. Hi there, I'm Karen Arak, owner of Nutrition with Karen, where I help women feel sexy, happy, healthy, and full of energy by getting to the root cause of their health and weight issues. Let's get started. Let me start by saying that in my opinion, for women especially that want to lose weight, it is dangerous to cut all carbs. We need carbs to function properly, and if you want to lose weight in a sustainable way, it's not good to be cutting it all out. Now, there are a few things that I want you to know regarding carbs and weight loss. Number one. The quality of the carbs that you choose does matter. If you want to lose weight, you do have to ditch the processed and refined carbohydrates. This means the muffins, the pastries, the refined breads, all of that. There are no nutrients in there, and really they're just empty calories that are keeping you inflamed and fat. Instead, the carbs that you want to choose are non-starchy vegetables and moderate amounts of fruit, starchy vegetables, and whole gluten-free grains like rice, quinoa, millet, that type of thing. Yes, this may be a surprise to you, but vegetables and fruits are considered a carbohydrate. That means that when they get digested, they get broken down into glucose, which is a sugar molecule. And what do I mean by starchy vegetables? Anything like beets, carrots, winter squashes, like butternut squash, spaghetti squash, acorn squash, for example. Number two. Skip the starchy carbs at breakfast. At breakfast, you want to concentrate on having high protein and moderate amounts of fat and fiber. This is going to keep you full longer and it's going to keep your energy high and it's going to eliminate the chances of you having cravings mid-morning and during the afternoon. This is so key to help you stay on track of your weight loss goals. Number three. Have your starchy carbs when it counts the most, at dinner. Now this may go against everything that you've ever heard, but the studies show that if you have the good kinds of starchy carbs, four to five hours before you go to sleep, it's going to normalize your cortisol, which is the hormone that makes you pack on the pounds when it's out of control. It also is going to normalize your sleep, which is so key to control your appetite and keep your metabolism revved up. And it's also going to make you lose the excess weight because it makes you a better fat burner. Just make sure you don't have your starchy carbs three hours before you go to sleep, or instead of having those positive effects, you're going to actually gain weight from your starchy carbs. So there you have it. To recap, you want to choose the right kinds of carbs. Number two, you want to ensure that you skip the starchy carbs at breakfast. And number three, you want to have your starchy carbs when it counts the most at dinner time so that you can actually lose more weight. If you want to have more tips on how you can lose weight and rev up your metabolism, click on the link below and I've got you covered. And don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel for more information just like this.